So this is what happens when you bring home a guy from Louisiana. <laughs> What's she doing? Boiling some fish heads. We're boiling his fish heads that he caught that he caught in the Bahamas. So we just got back from the Bahamas yesterday. This is all of our dive gear. We cleaned it all. And now we're boiling some fish heads. We have a hogfish in there and what else do you have in there? A, a grouper and a little snapper. And he wants to boil them because he wants the like the jaws and the teeth and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna make fish mounts. Yeah, he wants to make fish mount mounts or something, jaws. mount their jaws. So um, yeah, this is what we're doing now. But then today we're gonna go snook fishing in the Jupiter Inlet and I'm gonna put him on the snook. First snook. His we'll first see snook. We'll if, if Jackie can make it happen. Yeah, we're, we'll see. But this is, uh, this is what we're doing today. Okay, so these have been boiling outside. For how long do you think they've been boiling? This is one. Oh they've been God, boiling for about hogfish. 15 to 20 minutes. And then the reason we did it outside is because it smells. So we need those. And also the pot. This is the. Oh my God. Oh my God. I didn't know their bones were that big. Like that. Do you know what that is? Yeah. I want all the heads. I'll keep that. That's, That's it? Just for that. All right, now, grouper time. This is gonna be more what I'm used to. So if you want to do this inside, it's gonna smell like really bad, right? Yeah, really you need like a crawfish boil. Uh, yeah, like a nice big pot like this. So and this is the top jaw. Of the grouper? grouper? Ew, what is all that right there? That's just it's broken stuff at all. It's all. Uh, I need this. How do you know which bones you need? You don't just take all of them? No. Just four. The hogfish one was cool. Just four bones? Yeah. This that is the one bottom looks, jaw. That looks like rubbery. Yeah. It's the bottom jaw for the grouper. Oh my god. That's the one you're gonna keep. So the so you when these were boil when the water was boiling you threw the heads in after the water started boiling or like before the water started boiling? Started boiling the water. So you boil the water first and then you throw the heads in the boiling water and then boil them for like 15 minutes. Yeah, you need this bone. Oh there's some meat. Let's eat it. <laughs> Boiled hogfish is so good. Oh look at all that down there. Yeah, we're gonna put all this stuff on the tree. Oh, under my lime tree? Yeah. It kind of does smell good. On the top jaws. This piece okay, this is, is the, the little jaw. snapper. This is the little dog snapper. So you take this. It's like part of the nasal. The bone. nasal bone? Yeah. It goes towards his nose. These are the four bones that you need. So that's for the, that you rest on the top jaw. This is the top jaw. That's his two teeth. See how big they are? Wait. You have to clean all of this off with a toothbrush. With a toothbrush? Yeah. The one you use every night. <laughs> the bottom jaw and the top jaw and then those two nasal bones. And then there's two more that you need for the... This is, this is one of them right here. Slides. How do you know which one? Because like by the shape look, of it? Yeah, see? It slides in there like that. Like that. So that, that piece slides into that piece. Yeah, I gotta find it. And that like that. forms the jaw. Yeah, yeah. Look at those teeth. These teeth. Oh my god. That's the grouper? Yeah. It's gonna come apart. So you don't... Like you just get all the, as mu much meat off as you can, yeah, and then which falls off I easily. Can, like this one, this one come out really. Yeah, quick. that one came out so nice. Look at this hogfish. Is this the bottom or the top? That's the bottom. Look at the hogfish jaw. That is so cool. And then it's gonna go like we're gonna glue it back together like oh, that. Oh, so okay, that came out like that. You're just gonna like put that. glue right there. And there's the and bottom. Then, oh my god, that's so cool. It'll, it'll. Snap I want out. it. <laughs> No. <laughs> what are these? This right here. What is that? The worm. It's a worm? I'm just kidding, I don't know. 
but um, what is this flat these flat ones i don't know i guess this is the this is the hog's fish's What's nose this? deal it's all right you see. that's their nasal bone yeah so it would sit like so hogfish even, have like i don't even know how it would go on this one but can you like figure it out look it up see they got all this clear stuff in between them anyway like cartilage? It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna come off and we're gonna put glue there instead so it still looks the same. He's using my nice sink to brush the meat off his fish bones. Stop with it, like you don't need to worry about being uh yeah, you careful. wanna get all that slimy stuff off. Yeah, and get it all in my sink. So you're just scrubbing them real good with, with his toothbrush that he uses. Yeah, see? No, don't. All these are gonna get scrubbed. And then what kind of peroxide do you use? Regular hydrogen peroxide. Okay, he's finally done cleaning, scraping off all the bones. Put him in a Ziploc bag. So I just like make sure that there's a napkin in between. Oh, you put a napkin? Napkin in between the bones. I just wrap a little that way. Like the flat ones, all the flat pieces can go in here. And that's just so it's all. You're gonna need another Ziploc bag. No. It's fine. Because the paper towel soaks up with hydrogen peroxide right. and it goes around it? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were just gonna pour hydrogen peroxide in a bowl and just let them sit in the bowl. You could do it like that too, but I'm always just doing it like this. Oh, I thought you were going to suck all the air out of it. Well, I don't want to pull it too So much. you just let it sit like this? Yeah. Like For how long? Uh, a day. A day? A whole day? Yeah. Are you going to take them home like that? Oh, okay. I have yeah. mine. Oh, yeah. My question for that was, why do we use hydrogen? Oh, look what you did. You left the bottle like this. This is what I do. My question was, why do you use hydrogen peroxide and not bleach? Because when I do my conch shells, we use bleach. But bleach he said, takes away a lot of color. Oh, it takes the away the hydrogen color. peroxide. Color? Just, Don't you want it to be white? Well, it's gonna be white, but it'll have like a little yellow tint to it. But I want it to be like, white, like you know. Um, yeah, we can do, we can try yours. Then. Okay, so we're gonna do mine in bleach. Cut my little little one in bleach. Oh yeah, take that out. And then we're gonna do his in hydrogen peroxide. We're gonna see the, what the difference is. Cause that was my question. I was just wondering. So he was like, okay, let's do yours in bleach. And I was like, okay, we'll do mine in bleach. So we're gonna let this sit and then we're gonna go snook fishing. Yeah. What's going on guys? If you wanna see whether or not I put Lewis on the snook, stay tuned to the end of this video to find out. So first of all, Fast forward to October, I still haven't put together my bones from that little fish boiling we did, but it works out great because not only do these skulls, when they're put together, make a great trophy decoration, they also make some really cool Halloween decorations. So I am gonna do that today and that's also why I'm wearing cat ears. So I hope you are ready. This is what you need, well actually, I have two projects that are going to be included in this video, two different things you can do with your fish skulls. This is a great thing you can do with the kids for Halloween or just any time. Educational thing as well, so I think this is really cool, I'm really excited. This is what you're going to need for the first project, uh, which is just putting the skulls together by itself. A glue gun, and I, mine's hot so it's been warming up, it's sticky. I would use a paper plate or some sort of surface that you don't mind getting. Uh, glue on and then of course glue sticks so the other thing I wanted to mention was the results of the bleach versus the hydrogen peroxide surprisingly learned the hydrogen peroxide whitens your bones a lot more and faster uh, than bleach and I, I tried it with the dog tooth snapper and I also tried it with my other bones I'm gonna do the other project on as well and I learned that hydrogen peroxide is just the best for whitening these bones I don't know why, I don't know the science of it, but hydrogen peroxide is better. And the longer you soak it, the whiter it gets. 
just had to make a note of that. So when you have your heated up glue gun, you got your glue sticks ready. So I've got my four pieces of bones here. These are the top. This is the little nasal bone we were talking about in the fish boiling video. These are the little pieces that slide into the bottom jaw and then you're gonna put them all together. So you should have about, in most fish, these four bones. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about putting these bones together. I've got this piece that's gonna slide right in here. You can kind of tell because the bones will kind of fit together. really fast. Oh, it's the wrong way. Oh, I did it! So look at that. Oh, I should have done my nails for this video. Okay, so same exact thing with the other piece. I'm just gonna do a, a dab of glue right in there. I'm gonna find just like that. You can kind of see where the bones will match up where they were broken. Look at that, awesome. How sick are these teeth though? Look at those. Put that one aside and now I'm gonna start with my top, which I'm actually really nervous about. Blue guns are scary because you gotta do it fast. Okay, so let me show you how I got these. So I got the top piece glued on to the two draws, and now I'm just kind of trying to figure out how these are gonna go to fit on top of my bottom draw. Cause I want his mouth to be like open, you know, like that. Ooh, look how cool that looks. Just, oh, look at how that fits together. A line of glue right in here. Just a bunch of glue right there. Awesome. That was good, I think that was a good call. So now those are together like that. Awesome! I gotta be careful, it's still a little wet. Sweet! Okay, so now glue the bottom jaws to the top like that, and we are gonna have ourselves some cool Halloween decorations. The teeth line will line up with the bottom tooth line and I've got the, this little part, this flat part here, going over this right here. So when I glue it, I'm gonna line up these jaw pieces like that. Outer part right here, and right here. Oh my gosh, I did it! Look at that! <laughs> That's pretty cool. I love it, oh my gosh. Ooh, how cool is that? I'm gonna move on to the next project. So this is project number two. I bought this awesome shadow box case. It doesn't have the back on it right now, the back is sitting right there. I think it was like 20 bucks, which and you can still even get coupons on top of that from Michaels. And check this out. This is my Triple Tails jaws from the Triple Tail that I shot when I was in Venice, Louisiana. How cool are these bones? I'm gonna set them out just like this and glue them on the back and then look how pretty this is. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna glue these bones just on the back right here. Super simple, I've got the glue gun again. I think this is a cool, awesome way of displaying your catch you know, just kind of reminding you of just the day and like the epicness of whatever it was that you caught, you know, it's just, and it's pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna lay out the bones exactly how I want them. These I had to soak in hydrogen peroxide for like two days because they would just not turn white and it was really making me mad because I wanted them to be like pure white. Check this out. How is that? I think that looks fabulous. Ooh, that's gonna look so good. Nice, okay, let's glue these on with the glue gun. Woo, look how 
cool that is. You will see how pretty it is. <gasps> Look at that. That is awesome. I love it. Let's go hang it up in my bathroom. Check it out, guys. I love it. It looks so cool. All right guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, cause I definitely did. Also, have a happy Halloween. I hope you stay safe, have a good time. Eat a lot of candy, not too much. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, cause I'd love to have you here. And I've got a lot of exciting things coming up in the future, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, if you made it this far in the video, or if you fast forwarded just to see if I put Lewis on his first Jupiter snook, here you go, here it is. And that's about it, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. If you need to tighten your drag, you know, yeah. it's a snook, baby! Woo! Look at that, that's Whoa. a nice one! That's yeah. a nice one. Oh, man. <laughs> get him in, get him in! <laughs> That's awesome. Woo, that's a Man. nice one. That's a Y'all want to come out here and catch some snook, cat, and jack? It's the way to go. Here, let me take this. Oh, yeah. Hold him up. Hold him up. Okay. But he's her stupider snook. <laughs> Safe release. Side to side. There he goes. <laughs>